Thanks my friend and partner, Dr. Osari, to give the closing remarks for this session. Dr. Osari. We started this almost 12 years now, and I can see it growing. There are just a few things, and since I have only five fingers, I'll cut them down to five. And I've noticed with all the remarks. Number one, it's no longer only continental Africans now calling on our brothers and sisters in the diaspora to come and invest. But there is proof that others who have come from the diaspora have succeeded here and the language they are speaking now is that it can be done. Is that right? Yes. Two, we have been led through the legalities and formalities of trying to be a citizen if we so desire. Three, we have been taught by the credit union that we can even start investing whilst we are still there. And so that by the time we are ready to decide to come over, we don't even have to carry a lot of things here. We already have an investment down here. Four, we have also learned that we need to be healthy in order to enjoy our repatriation year. Because you have all the wealth without health is nothing. Five, and the last one, which is also tied to health, our food. And that's something I'm coming to put in here. Africa imports $35 billion worth of food every year. And despite all the chemicals that have been spoiling some of our lands, I can still tell you we are just from Liberia to spread the news of the health that we have started in Ghana. There are still virgin forests in West Africa, places where you can just spit and you have a plantation for food. So that if we want to come back here, we don't look only at the legalities. We don't look at only the way we want to come and establish physically, but our food. And then finally, about music. Music is about our emotions, right? If you have everything, but you are in a worried state, you can still be sick. Because we need to follow the path of our ancestors. That's the reason why during the moonlight nights, our ancestors drum and dance. You are coming back home, bring money, have good food, and finally have a very nice emotions. Somebody just said he married a Ghanaian. How many of you are ready? <laughs> you know, one of the things we have been taught wrongly, miseducated, is that, oh, when you go to those Africans, they don't even know how to behave towards women. So run away from them. In Ghana, we have something called Bisabrewa. We are the only people in the world that the final decision for even high political decisions, you have to go and ask the Queen Mother. That's the meaning of Bisabrewa. You will come here and you will be very happy. So please, as we are networking, let's put all this into our minds and say that we are coming home physically, emotionally, spiritually, and finally we'll get our hopes very high because we have finally made it back home. You are welcome. Now it's time to get to know you, so if you have any questions,